Okay, the final step in this is G-code, isn't it? It's no fun if all you can do is make this pretty graphical stuff. If you can't make the code to go with it, what good is the software? So let's go back to top one and let's post this out. I'm going to go ahead up to my operations tab here and go to generate ISO code. Here I'm just going to choose a standard Missler post. So I'm going to look for my Fanuc Mazak turn post and I'm going to hit go. Here it's going to post out op one and as you can see here's all the G code for this. Now to begin with you can see I'm drilling then I'm doing my roughing and I'm doing this all with longhand code by the way with roughing. Maybe you prefer to use cycles. Well let's have a look and see what that looks like. Let's come on down here and here by the way you're seeing the uh, polar coordinates mode as well. We're good to go. But let's go make a quick change. Let's go to roughing. Maybe not that roughing because there's not much to it or that one. You know what? Let's do this on op2 because op2 there's more to the geometry than just a simple line. So right now if I go into this roughing toolpath and I go to edit, here you can see something called enable NC cycle. Let's activate that. Again, as the programmer, you're always in control. You get to choose when you want to use a cycle, when you want to use longhand code. So now, go to op uh, operations again, generate ISO, Fanuc Mazak turn, this is EIA mode of course, we validate, and here you can see the cycle beginning. Now, sometimes we have to tweak cycles depending on the machine and how the cycles have been defined, but that's the easy part. What this is showing you is that it's all there, it's ready to go, ready to drive your Mazak Quick Turn Center.